Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, today, I wanted to talk about cashbacks and saving accounts. So much noise about discounts, where to be saving, interest are going up, inflation's going up, what should we do? Uh, it's not even worth it, 1%. So um, yeah, let's clear all this up. And what I want to do is a little bit of an overview of what I've managed to save in the past year from cashback schemes, roundup schemes, uh, airtime rewards, because I think there is a perception that 1% isn't really worth it. And I want to show you in this video that it 100% is worth every penny that you save. So um, let me just share my screen with you. I've just put together a little overview of what this looks like for me. So on the left, it has it shows what I have saved this past year in cashback. So starting top left, I've managed to save £290 through my top cashback account. There are lots of lovers, lots of haters of top, top cashback out there, but I've saved almost £300. And this is since April last year. So I did move. And when I did the move, I did use top cashback for things like my BT internet. I've used it for travel insurance this year, which I think gave me back about £20 because I bought uh, travel insurance for the year, did a few trips, um, a lot of clothes shopping, uh, probably. And the good news about top cashback is I haven't checked this at the moment, £43 is still pending, but I haven't checked this money out yet. So what that means is I can actually exchange that money um, and get an additional 10, 5, 8% back in the places that I do my food shopping, which I know are essentials and I'm going to do. I also have saved or earned, should I say, £140 in rewards in my Chase bank account this year. So Chase launched in the UK a couple of years ago. And as part of their marketing campaign, they gave everyone 1% cash back. So you can imagine how much money I've spent from my Chase account to get that £140. However, it's £140. So it all adds up. Um, I have airtime rewards. If anyone doesn't know about airtime rewards, airtime rewards gives you cash back that you can use for your mobile phone bill. So far, I have used this for two years in a row, actually, maybe even before then. But I know I checked out £20 last year, which means this year there's £24 in the account. I've frozen. <laughs> uh, there's £24 um, in the account at the moment that I've earned this year. And Roughly, that equates to, for me personally, probably three, maybe four months of my phone bill. So just to give you a bit of context. And I also have here my roundups. So some banks will give you the option to round up to the nearest pound when you um, spend money on your card. And that means I have spent 195, well, I've got back 195 pounds, but also with Chase, they had their launch campaign last year. So they had 5% on that. So it wasn't a lot. It was only about four pounds, I can see. But in total, that gave me almost 200 pounds. So in total, in the last year, I have made 600, six pounds and 12 pence. So that's minus the, the additional 20 pounds from the airtime. So I've made £606, which I must have spent a heck of a lot of money, but I've made back £600, which I, I never would have seen if I wouldn't have done any of these cashback schemes in the first place. And I wanted to give a bit of context to this. So as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, I've been doing a little bit of window shopping and I've had a look at some flights and that £606 can buy me a week so a flight a flight to Havana and Cuba is 480 pounds forget the dates because there were flights under 606 pounds um, going to Cuba so that could be a flight for one person to Cuba um, it was also the equivalent of um, a 14 day or well, flights for 14 days for 474 pounds to Barbados and I'd be left with um, £140-ish cash back in pocket as well. Um, I was also surprised to find that a car rental 
in Split, Croatia, is £34 for a week. So could probably go on holiday to Croatia for a week for £606. Um, I wanted to look at maybe somewhere a bit more expensive. So Lake Como, Italy, um, a car rental there for a week was £116. So again, I'd be left with £500 or £490 cash in pocket. Or the most surprising one was that I could get six nights for two adults in a hotel, a five star hotel in Dubai for five hundred and fifty four pounds. And I think the dates that I was looking at was around June. So there are deals out there. Right. And my lesson for this video is Take note of where you are spending your money. Look for opportunities, even if it's 1%. Every penny adds up. As I said, £606. I will not sniff at that. Even if I don't end up going on holiday, it will help save towards my energy bills for a couple of months. It might pay a bit of my mortgage for a little bit. Um, or could just rent a car and go traveling across Europe or sp spend some time in a nice hotel in Dubai. So you never know. Um, what's going to come back to you. Definitely, definitely have a look into any uh, savings that are out there. If you can, if you want, which you know what, I'm just going to put my referral link for Top Cashback on here because if anyone needs it, you'll also get a tenner. So that'll be your starting point. So I'm going to put my referral link for Top Cashback. I do get a bit of a, uh, I think it's an, a referral incentive. I don't know how much it is. It's minor, but every little helps, as we just said. So look for the deals. Um, and hopefully this has been helpful and also just maybe a little bit of referring framing around that whole 1% uh, gimmicky thing in the actually in the bigger picture, it could save you a lot of money in the long run. See you everyone.